everything does not happen for a reason. So we need to stop saying it. So this parent unfortunately lost their child due to a car accident and they posted about it on social media. And the comments were full of people saying like, oh, everything happens for a reason. Oh, maybe God needed an angel early. And I was just like, like stop, stop. Let people grieve, let people feel. And a lot of the times this is coupled with the idea of moving on from your past. And yes, that's all great, but you can never really move on from traumatic events. You can only move forward. It's more about moving forward with it rather than moving on from it. And you know, this is kind of similar to toxic positivity, at least in my opinion, because you're essentially saying that, you know, whatever happened to you, no matter how traumatic or how horrible it was, you kind of somewhat deserved it because there is a silver lining in it, because there is an important life lesson for you to learn throughout your trauma and your horrible experience. And that is garbage, that is absolute utter garbage. Sometimes horrible things happen to really good people for absolutely no reason. Like it just does. So saying everything happens for a reason to somebody who is going through a rough or traumatic time and has probably shared their most vulnerable moments with you, probably not the best thing to say. Arguably the worst thing to say. Saying there's a reason behind everything shifts the responsibility of making sense of the trauma to the person who is struggling. So you're essentially shifting the blame. So if somebody says this to you, like, oh, everything happens for a reason, don't worry about it, then you simultaneously have to process and deal with the trauma as well as make sense of it, which that itself does not make any sense. In the wise words of Sarah Lynn, that is too much, man. Sometimes there isn't a life lesson that the universe is trying to say to you. I mean, this is life, it's not a movie. And it's not your responsibility to figure it out. It's not on you to try and make sense of whatever happened to you. So what you can do is try to just give yourself the room. Give yourself the room to process and feel what happened. It's not making sense of it. You're just processing what's happening and you're just processing how it affects your body, how it affects your mind, and just do what feels best for you. Unless it's like arson, murder, Etc. You get my point. And once you start giving yourself the room to feel and finally accept what happened without sugarcoating it, without trying to be like, oh, well, I learned about this. Like, no, you can, you can wallow. This is your experience. This is your time to wallow, okay? Like, after you do all of that, then you can actively start healing. So I know a lot of folks like to say, oh, well, you get stronger through hardships. And like, yes, I guess that is true to a certain extent, but let's think about it in a different way. If people get stronger through their trauma or whatever happened to them in the past, it's just them making the best of their situation. So they grew in spite of their trauma, not because of it. And let's be real, some people don't get stronger through their traumatic events or whatever happened. It can just hurt them without allowing them a faucet to grow and learn as a person. And I feel like a lot of us are kind of conditioned to believe that something traumatic or something bad has to happen to us in order for us to become stronger and to get to know ourselves better, but no, you can learn about life without being traumatized. Those two don't automatically have to go together, you know? A trigger warning, just in case you need it, I am going to be talking about essay and the R word and just assault in general. So if that is triggering for you, please be warned. So I got R worded, R worded? I'm not, this is the first time I'm actually saying this verbally, so I'm not really sure if this is the right context, but anyways, I got, assaulted. I got essayed when I was in my early 20s and I opened up about it to somebody who I thought I could trust. They said that this happened for a reason. And in hindsight, like right now, I'm like, what the absolute fladoodle? Like what is going, like what are you smoking? Like dude, are you dumb? But back then, I was not very emotionally secure and emotionally stable. So I doubted myself. I doubted my own experiences, my own thoughts. And I was just like, wait a second, did this happen for a reason? 
What reason is that? What did I do wrong? I desperately tried to find some sort of rationale as to why this happened, and I tried staying positive, but I couldn't because obviously I was going through something traumatic. And people expect you to get stronger through your trauma, but to be honest, I didn't really learn much and I didn't really get stronger. The main takeaway that I got from this experience was trust issues. I became more wary of friendships, of relationships, of people in general. I was like, are you going to hurt me? Are you going to hurt me? And then I eventually kind of expected people to hurt me sooner or later. And it kind of became like the self-fulfilling prophecy. And I blamed myself. I like victim blamed myself a lot. I was like, why was I dressed so provocatively? I wasn't. Why did I go into the room with him? Because I trusted him. Like, why did I accept that drink from him? Because you trusted him. And you know, like all of these trust issues and like this general non-trusting attitude for people in general, I still carry with me to this day. Like I'm still working through it. And you know, my experience with being essayed and the R word, it didn't just get magically, you know, like replaced with this beautiful life lesson and I became the stronger person. Like, no, it stunted me. I'm still reeling in from the aftermath of what happened years ago. So when my friend was like, oh, well, everything happens for a reason after I told her what happened, I felt invalidated. And what I felt was that nobody was really acknowledging what happened to me. And these people were actively trying to push out my reality with their false positivity because they were uncomfortable with dealing with such raw emotions and actually what happened. And a lot of people are like, oh, but you're fine now. A day after, no, not even a day, like hours after my assault, I looked fine. I was functioning, but at the end of the day, I would come home and I would have incredibly severe panic attacks that I still have to this day because of what happened then. We don't know what people are going through behind closed doors. Sure, they look fine, but maybe at home they have panic attacks. Maybe they're numbing themselves with drugs or alcohol. Maybe they just have given up. We don't know. So regardless of who they are and how fine they look or how stronger they've gotten through their trauma, they all deserve support. You did not deserve to go through the traumatizing or generally horrible things that have happened in your life. If you've been through something and you're struggling in any way, shape or form, please remember that it is okay not to be okay. Like the marshmallow song. It's kind of cheesy, but it's true. It is absolutely okay that you are not getting stronger through this experience. That is not on you. That is not your responsibility. I mean, for example, if you break your arm, you're not going to expect yourself to do a bicep curl because you have a broken arm, right? So why are you questioning why you can't get stronger through your traumatic experience? It is the same principle. You have like a broken arm, but emotionally speaking. So obviously you would not be able to do a bicep curl, emotionally speaking. And instead of saying everything happens for a reason, we should just be supporting each other, listening to each other. We're all very, very different people with different traumas, different life experiences, different personalities, different coping methods. So we need different unique methods to be heard and validated. The best thing that we can do for each other is just to be there to be there in any way, shape, or form. Once again, as long as it's not like illegal or immoral or whatever else. So to anybody who is saying everything happens for a reason, please stop. Even if you mean well, please stop. On a closing note, I hope that this reminded you that the shitty things that have happened in your past are not your fault. The traumatic things that have happened, absolutely not your fault, it's not your responsibility, it's not on you, okay? Thank you for watching me rant about this for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. How long has it been? I don't know. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. I am sending you my love and support always. Bye.